Agora TV. The world is thinking. We talk about the health of Somalia, but sending uh, money to, to UN agencies, it is not helping so much. Uh, sending what? money to the government, it is not helping so much. So tell us how, how we, we can help, how the, We now, the worst drought in Somalia. People are dying by thousands on the streets, working uh, 400 miles to searching some food. Children are falling down on the streets. They are very skinny. They are sick. If someone became sick, they have to work a long, long, long way to, to have a, a, a health care center. So I suggest to empower women and the civil society. Uh, we now begin, we cannot see people dying, but among our capacity, already we began to open a feeding centers on the roads, beside the roads, because people are working to put food and the water, and some health, some, some medicine. If they come working, searching some food to Mogadishu, which is 400 kilometers. So I think we can stand up uh, for our foundation, for other civil societies, uh, to feed, at least to stop bleeding now, because now it's emergency situation. Otherwise, people in Somalia will die totally. There is no food, no security for 20 years. It's too much. People already fed up. Dr. Uh, Mohammed, can you, can you tell us specifically uh, where to go uh, if, 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 if we want to in some way contribute? Oh, you can go to our website, Dr. Howard, the foundation, and Vital Voices also, they're working with us and for doing the foundation. It's vitalvoices.org. Uh, Obama administration or international NGOs, uh, international community, I think they have to change their policy in Somalia because what international or Obama, um, they're trying to create a transitional government where they creating a clan government. They choosing the people of leader of the government by clans, not by their ability yes. of the supporting of people or their ability of making a difference. Uh, I think they have to change their policy of doing that and they have to stop having these African Union troops because as a history of humanity, bringing a peacekeeper troops will not bring a peace. So to bring a peace and to build a country, I think to educate their own people. We Somalis need to help themselves. Yes. To help them, they, to help, they can help themselves if we empower them. I think so. We need to empower the people and educate them and give the opportunity, especially women, to be a leader and tell her because African men, as have you seen, 80, 90 percent are dictatorship. It's no, no. They don't think at all there's a country existing. They think for their benefit. So, so education is the key. Is the basic, key. basic. Uh, 